Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. What I'm going to show you today is how to put a second regulator on any bottle gun, or a first regulator if it does not already have a regulator on the gun. Most PCP bottles are M18 by 1.5 thread pitch. So the first thing you need to be aware of is make sure you know what threads your tank takes. And for this solution, we're simply using a paintball style reg. These are commonly available on eBay and Amazon. Um, I'll drop a link for both of these parts in the comments and description, but what you're going to want to do is get the correctly threaded reg. In this case, this is an M18 threaded reg. Um, that is going to go onto this M18 threaded bottle on this Air Max crate, which has a terribly designed regulator that creeps all the time. So we're going to try to prevent that and get better consistency by using this regulator to double regulate the gun. The next thing you're going to need is an adapter. Okay, so what we've done is we've already taken this bonnet off and taken the piston out. It's got, it's, we've inspected it. We've put a lot of uh, silicone lube on the uh, O-ring surfaces so it is ready to go. And then you're just going to need this adapter. So I already have greased the O-ring up here a little bit with some silicone oil, uh, grease rather. And we'll simply screw this in to this paintball style adapter. Right now these are on sale for like I think like seven bucks shipped on Amazon. So I bought a couple of them just to have for additional projects. Another way you can do this if you don't want this to be so long, I know Huma sells a uh, bottle reg for their bottles, which has a regulator in it and then M18 threads. So in this case though, we're, this, this whole setup is like less than 40 bucks. So you got the reg and you got the adapter. Now the adapter has the paintball threads here and M18 threads here. So what we do, is we degas the gun, pull the bottle, thread the reg into the bottle, and then we thread this adapter onto the gun. And what this is going to do in the case of this Air Max crate is hopefully we're going to get much more uh, consistency out of it. No creep from that reg, which seems to really want to creep when the bottle is filled up to 300 bar. And another benefit is it's going to make us be able to plug this stupid fill port hole, only fill up at the tank. So now we have a regular fill nipple on it. And additionally to that, it's going to give you three gauges on the gun. So we have the bottle pressure on the other side of this gun is, is the existing bottle pressure gauge that will become the first reg gauge. And then this final gauge will show the plenum or second regulator pressure. So that's basically it. All you need to do is get these two cheap parts and put them on this bottle and on this gun and it will extend this out by 4.25 inches but you can basically double reg any gun to make it double regged like the fx maverick or the fx impact uh, very cheaply for 40 bucks so uh, you can either do it this way or you can get the huma adapter which i think is 100 or 150 bucks or something like that but we're going to go cheap on this one and then maybe we'll make a follow-up video with how this thing actually performs but i just wanted to show you guys this especially the air max crate owners everybody's having tons of problems with that terribly designed reg so hopefully this will help some of you guys to get better consistency and lose the creep that happens in that reg all right and there is the final product on the crate here and uh basically one one little pointer is you might want to buy an additional one or two of these on Amazon because they are on Prime and you can return them for free. So here's what happened. The fill nipple here ended up pointing straight on the up to the barrel, which is no good, right? So I knew that the threads would not be cut the, exactly in the same spot here, and I had two of these extra adapters. So we put another one on, and the fill nipple came out here. So the gauge was up here, so you couldn't read it well. So the third time's a charm. We took the third one out, screwed everything in tight, Fill nipples pointed perfectly down, gauges at the side exactly where you'd want it to be. So that's how it worked out. And now we've got this right at 155 bar, feeding the other reg at 120 bar. And now we're going to have, hopefully, no creep and a way better performing gun. So hopefully this is helpful. Cheers.